Tonight we begin in Shawnee County where thousands of people are right now without power. 27 News reporter Drew Gill is live near 10th and Gage in West Topeka. And Drew, I know it's dark right now, but what are you seeing out there? Yeah, Rebecca, that's right. I am near 10th and Gage. The intersection is just behind me. We're on the south end of Gage Park for those who know the area. Let me step off screen so you can get a little bit of a look. I know it is very dark. Lights are seem to be on in most of this area. I could see some house lights on porch lights. If you look on your screen there, you can likely see that Shawnee County Park Police truck there um, and he's blocking actually one lane of eastbound traffic on 10th Street, and that's because there's a large chunk of tree you may have been able to see by those cones. It looks like the top of a tree nearby broke off and is blocking the lane, so he's just kind of playing a safety guard there. Um, but as I said, the businesses in the area seem to have lights. The houses seem to have lights in this area, but we have our, our own 27 digital reporter, Alyssa Storm, keeping an eye on the Evergy outage map. She just sent me the latest numbers a couple minutes ago. Let me take a look at that for you. Looks like just over 2,200 people in the Topeka area are without power. We have seen that number go down over the last hour, so that is encouraging as we move forward. We'll, of course, keep tracking this one for you, keep an eye on the outages, and keep you up to date as we learn more. Working for you live from Topeka, Drew Gill, 27 News.